Ghost what? Ghost nothing! <laughs> G'day cheeky dogs, it's spooky season, so let's go through my top five most Halloween style Bluey episodes from season one. I shouldn't have let my guard down. We will officially be getting a Halloween episode based around the Rocky Horror Picture Show, but that won't be until 2025. So until then, here are some Bluey episodes to get you in the Halloween mood, and I will have a top five for season two and season three of Bluey coming out in the next few weeks. So don't forget to hit that like button down below, that subscribe button, and that bell for notifications so you know when those videos come out. And don't forget to comment down below what your favorite spooky Halloween episode is from Bluey. What on earth have you done to your father? <laughs> Nighttime, costumes, and magic of course, my number five is Chicken Rat. This episode of Bluey is called Chicken Rat. Whilst we see the girls dressed up in costumes a few different times, Chicken Rat is the first one where it's a little bit more magical and spookier because they find the magic wand and use it to turn poor Bandit into a chicken rat for basically the whole afternoon and night. Chicken Rat! Choo! It works! Yeah. Having it set at night as well also helps with that magical ninja feeling of it, and it was fun to see them do a bit of a time jump episode as well. We were at the dress up box, dressing up as ninjas. A fun fact about this episode is that the ninja costume that Bluey and Bingo are wearing is actually a reference to the famous Japanese ninja anime Naruto, where they have similar headbands. And we know the Bluey animators are big fans of Naruto. <laughs> Coming in at number four is one of our more magical episodes from season one, which is asparagus. Bluey, take this. It's a magic asparagus. What does it do? It turns people into any animal you want. For real life. For real life. While season one started with literally a magic xylophone as a game, Asparagus takes it a whole step further with the whole of Bluey's family being magically turned into animals with a magic asparagus, and apparently not having any idea about what has happened to them at the very end. What's going on? Uh, oh, uh, we're just eating dinner, remember? Ah, uh, yeah, dinner. Okay, well. Very spooky indeed, and a fun magical game for the whole family to play. Some fun facts about this episode as well is that it was actually called Magic Asparagus on the Bluey YouTube channel, and the song that Pat is singing is actually a very dark song called Moreton Bay. And by Brisbane waters a chance to uh. An Australian folk ballad that details the brutal conditions of colonial Australia's penal settlements. So all in all, kind of a dark, spooky, and magical episode. Is that you, Lucky? Oh, well, I guess it's nothing. Going into our top three is fairies. Of course, the most magical of all episodes in Bluey as we see an actual magical creature for the very first time. The hilarity of the episode and all the cheeky antics the fairies get up to to make it a fun episode to watch, but also a fun game to play at home too, just makes this such a great episode for Halloween. This is a fairy. If you see one, whack it. But they're invisible. You have to look for fairies with your heart. But of course, it does bring up the question of whether or not fairies are real in the Blueyverse and can only children see them. Do your worst, fairies! I'm not scared of you! Some fun facts is that the music used for this episode is also the same music that's used in Titanic. Go! Woo! And we also have a gladiator reference in it as well. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? If you'd like to know more about all the hidden Easter eggs and references, though, I have done a deep dive into this episode fairies before, and I'll make sure that it's linked at the end of the video as well as pinned in the comment down below. Number two for me then is The Adventure. This one gets a special spot high on the list because what would a Halloween be without a greedy, evil witch queen? And that's exactly what we get in The Adventure. Ha <laughs> ha Now I can help you now! Chloe and Bluey spend the whole time dressing up in different costumes as the queen, princesses, honey horse, and the grandma fairy, which is great inspiration for Halloween costumes. And of course, the whole story is about them trying to take down the evil, greedy queen, which gives us very, like, Dorothy versus Wicked Witch vibes. Ooh, I'm scared. There are a lot of other more evil witch references in this episode as well, which again, I have done a breakdown of this episode, as well as the coma theory as well. Blue and I play princesses. Oh, princesses, eh? Oh, is that where you sit in a castle and have tea and cakes? 
Now, number one, of course, has to be the reference to Bluey's own personal Halloween costume, and that is the episode Fruit Bat. This episode of Bluey is called Fruit Bat. All of the official Bluey Halloween merch has had Bluey as a vampire, and I 100% believe it is because of the episode Fruit Bat, which is our closest Halloween spooky episode from season one. No, not night fruit bats. They don't sleep at night. They're octonal. Good knowledge, kid. Not only is it set at night, but it's all about Aussie bats and even has an eerie dream sequence in it too. It didn't work. Oh, well, we tried. Where did Dad go? He's outside. The fact that Bluey flies like a bat and even hangs out with bats makes it even extra Halloween-y. And I love that they also made Mackenzie a vampire as well in all the Halloween promo as a reference to his appearance in the episode Fruit Bat 2. Or perhaps it's a reference to something else. Who knows? But Fruit Bat for me is number one as it's the most Halloween style episode from season one. And I love that Bluey is a vampire because of this episode. I wish I was a Fruit Bat. So, cheeky dogs, let me know in the comment section down below which of these Halloween-style episodes is your favourite from Season 1 and what would you have put in your list as well? Wow! If you want to as well, comment down below what your favourites are from Season 2 and Season 3 and I'll try and put some of these comments in my videos for those two breakdowns as well for my top 5 Halloween episodes from Bluey. Until then, cheeky dogs, I have picked you out a few other videos that maybe you would like to watch and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!